number 14, Terrence Mann. At center, seven foot, number 40, Ivita Zuma. Starting at small forward, standing six foot eight, number 13, Paul George. At the other guard position, standing six foot five, number one, James Harden. At forward, six seven, number two, the head coach for your LA Clippers, Tyron Lue. Once again, your LA Welcome everyone, thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. Kevin Harlan here along with analysts Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. And we'll be hearing from D.A. along the sideline all game long. And now the Lakers starting group. We've got Russell. Anthony Davis is out there with LeBron James. Then it's Rui Hachimura. And it's Reeves in at the two spot. And for the Clippers, they've got Ivica Zubats. Paul George is out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Harden. And it's Mann in at the two guard spot. Veteran players are well represented, Greg, in this one. And all that experience on the court only adds to the intrigue. Yeah, and it should make for a more polished game overall. More discipline, less mistakes, just high IQ basketball. Tip-off goes to the Lakers. Now, here is Russell. Pass to Hachimura. And here is James. He's covered by Leonard. James against Leonard. James dishes to Davis. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the five. It's about health. When AD is, he's a major force. A nightly double-double threat with incredible length and athleticism. It's his first trip to the line. One is off. Right here's a classic NBA question. Who's been the best franchise in league history? The Celtics or the Lakers? Come on, Kevin. You are putting me on the spot. But uh, I'd go with the Lakers. More superstars over the years. And I think that 2000s run with Kobe and company, that put them ahead in my estimation. No luck that time either. And not what we're accustomed to seeing from him at all foul from the free throw line. And the whistle and blows. Easy. It's going to be on Davis. First personal foul. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. To the inside. Hachimura against George. Two Off to a good start as he hits his first shot three. attempt. With his great length and skill, Paul George has no trouble getting points in the paint. Outside, Russell. That one goes. He's counting. Russell. And getting the offense started with a high-quality look down low. Harden inside the three-point line. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And Harden is a nightmare in the pick and roll. Just a clever combo guard who is completely unpredictable. To the paint. Here's Reeves. Good D by Harden. And so Harden will bring it up for the Clippers. And George, here we go. And the shot goes in. George has got his second bucket. Slippery play by Paul George to get inside. He ends up right where he wanted to be for the shot. Here's Russell. It's held in by Zubats. The Clippers have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. 
Harden inside the three-point line. Hachimura grabs the miss. Lakers have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Dishes it to LeBron. The Clippers grab the miss. The three from Harden. The Clippers keep it alive. Zubac kicks to Harden. Second shot opportunity. Bucket is good. George has got six. And while his ability to score gets so much attention, Harden demonstrating why he's also regarded as an elite level passer. D2 for Russell. And no good that time. And the Clippers will come the other way. Now the pass to Harden. in the first uh, about three minutes in two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul and I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs the Clippers shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line to strike Terrence Mann at the line for two shooting two And the first one at the line is good. For decades, the Clippers were almost directionless. But they found their place in the NBA, becoming a franchise that competes in the West. And so he makes both from the line. And the West, you know, is very difficult. But Steve, for the Clippers, how much of their success is tied to their identity? Kevin, a lot of it. they become a hard-nosed team, hanging their hat on defense, playing together, making opponents earn everything they get. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. And proving to be effective around the rim. Hachimura leaving no doubt about that one. And here's Harden for three. And again, no good by the Clippers. Lakers trailed by six. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, I was able to talk with Teron Lou for just a minute. He told me they have to lean on their post game tonight. He wants them to get the ball into the block each time down the floor and pound those guys inside. Sounds like this could be a real physical battle, Kevin. Back to you. Thank you, David. If the defense lets him, Harden will do this all night. You have to challenge his accuracy every time down the floor. Now, here is Russell. And yep, Austin finally Reed. drops after rolling around He's the rim. And that pick D takes the D Russell. totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. But beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. Russell passes to Davis. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. The added strength helping Davis on these physical finishes. Great work from the big man. Here's George. Harden trying to get open, and George gets it to go. George has got eight. You just love how reliable he is. Night in and night out, his offense is there. Russell passes to LeBron. Pass to Reeves. Lakers passing it around. Five on the clock. From deep. And D'Angelo Russell with the three. Five points in the game. Oh, my man way beyond the arc. D'Angelo snatched. Here's Harden. From down in the low post, it goes. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. LeBron against Zubac. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two and the free throw line. 
And the Mark used to getting hit. And this is the level of attention this man attracts from the deep. Hey guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for the Clippers. Tonight, early on, this team is saying, forget the analytics. Let's take mid-range shots. They can be easy points. You also have to admire how they've challenged the defense inside, getting a lot of points in the paint. And that one misses. The durability and endurance of LeBron at this point in his career is astonishing. Second free throw, no good. And since 1999, the Clippers and Lakers have shared their downtown LA Arena. The only NBA team to split a venue. But that's going to change soon. D'Angelo Russell. The Clippers broke ground on their new arena, set to open in Inglewood in 2024. I've seen the footprint. You fly right into LAX and you see it every time. It's going to be beautiful. And that'll be huge for the Clips. They're trying to create their own identity in Southern California. Having a venue just for the Clippers will help. You throw good, James Harden. And the playmaking of Harden continues to impress. Whether he's looking for his shot or creating for others, such a dynamic count. Timeout called the late. Well, it's a player's lead, but certainly coaching has its place. Yeah, if that weren't the case, we wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They trail by seven. Not happening with that shot. He's put up five and made two. Leonard looking over the floor. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. That'll be his second foul of the game. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Here is Harden. He's got 10. And it doesn't take much to get Harden going. His confidence serves as a catalyst for him catching fire. This is it to Davis. A fader. The rebound by Paul George. Went to the fadeaway. Didn't need to, though. Probably cost him some points. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Here's Reeves. Here's Hachimura. And the Lakers with another miss. Decent look for mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. James against George. And he uses the glass on the way. George has got 12 in the game. They have been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Here's George. That shot off. Good work defensively by Hachimura. Pass to Reeves. Shoots over Leonard. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. Yeah, both teams in the zone early. Stops have been almost impossible to come by. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. Jason Plumlee's checked in for the Clippers. Westbrook comes in for man. The Lakers making a switch here. Outside, George, the three from Harden. There's the pass to Leonard. Shot clock at five. The Clippers need to get off a shot. Sure. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Lakers trailed by nine. Inside, here's LeBron. LeBron. And the dunk by James. 
dunking is second nature to LeBron. All he needs is ideal positioning, and he's golden. Here's Westbrook, and finished off by Westbrook. Hey, dunks aren't always for the big fella. A serious power move from the point. Forget just landed in. He wanted to make a statement. Now here's James. Pulls it up. Paul George grabs the miss. Clippers leading by nine. Kicks it to Harden. Great tee that time from Davis. Russell against Leonard. Russell high post. Five points in the game. Russell's gone just two of six shooting, 33%. And there's a whistle that's going to go on James Harden. That's his first foul. Yet way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. Here's Russell. Outside, Davis. He kicks it to Reddish. James against Leonard. LeBron dishes to Davis. Nails the baby hook. Davis has got his second basket. So hard to keep AD off the glass. He's got the length, the timing, and the consistency of effort. And that one is good. So good at the rim. A slow defensive rotation leads to the easy lay. Dinwiddie passes to Reddish. LeBron James on the wing. Score the basket is LeBron third after five James. shots. The power of LeBron able to overwhelm the defender, even though he's in position to contest. George looking over the floor. And again, the turnover by the Clippers. Careless turnover. You lose focus for even a moment in this league. That's the result. For the Clippers, Amir Coffey's jacked in for Kawhi Leonard, and it's Powell in for James Harden. Jackson A's, he's jacked in for the Lakers. Gabe Vincent comes in for Russell. Yep, that one goes. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Bounce pass from Westbrook. Out of bounds, out of bounds. the possession. Lakers will take Lost possession. Control. Unforced errors. These are the kinds of things that break momentum. Leonard, he's checked in for Paul George. Here's the Lakers with the ball. They're on a 12-4 run. Dinwiddie outside. Hayes trying to break through. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First personal foul. Lakers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Lakers. Spencer Dinwin shooting two. First free throw is good. And both free throws good for Dinwiddie. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Clippers. Three-point lead. One twelve left to play in the first. Dinwiddie with some nice D. Reddish kicks to Dinwiddie. Now, here's Reddish. He's covered by Leonard. They get it again. Reddish's shot is Kevin good. Reddish. When inspired, Reddish is a good rebounder. Great physical tools at 6'7 with a 7'1 wingspan. Now, here's Westbrook. Pass to Coffee. Latre 
hands it from downtown. And the Clippers lead by four. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Passes to LeBron. Here's Vincent. Here's the three. Good. And the assist goes to James. What unselfish play from LeBron. You can tell he wants to get everyone involved. Foul against the Lakers. The Clippers shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. Yeah, and 79% from the line as a team a season ago. Pretty reliable in that regard. Russell Westbrook, two shots. The free throw drops for Russell Westbrook. What I love about Russell Westbrook, he plays with maximum effort every single night. You can be sure he's not taking any plays off. Lakers trailed by three. James looking it over. Going inside. No good with the layup. Paul George, he's been the guy making things happen for the L.A. Clippers. He totaled 14 points in the quarter. He's given them all the offense they need right now. And we'll be right back after this. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Clippers? Aggressive at running guys to the backboard. You could tell it was part of their game plan coming in. And they have the guys to do it. Play to your strengths, and they can make up for some of your weaknesses. We know you need talent to win, Steve. So how critical is basketball IQ to winning at the highest level? How important is it in that equation? Kevin, it's everything. A playoff series can turn on a single play. And the guys, you can tell the difference. Who has a high basketball IQ and an average IQ. It does make a difference. So on the floor for the Lakers to start this second quarter. Torian Prince is out there with Hachimura. Then it's Vincent. Then it's Anthony Davis. And it's Reeves in a shooting guard position. Westbrook takes these challenges personally. He loves scoring on aggressive defense. Here's Vincent. It's hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got five rebounds tonight. Man passes to Westbrook. And the layup's good off the glass. And it's a seven-point clipper lead. His ability to change his pace and direction is so quick. That's one of the reasons Westbrook is special when handling the rock. Now here is Hachimura. Here's Vincent. And the Lakers with another miss. Clippers leading by seven. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, GA. Thanks very much. The Lakers are, of course, one of the league's storied franchises. And Magic Johnson was asked recently if they have the best all-time collection of players. He says it's not even close. Outside of Bill, we have all the dominant closers. Kobe, Jerry, LeBron now, Irving. Come on now, it's just too many Lakers. Kevin, back to you. <laughs> He's got a point, David, and we thank you for your report. Look at the unselfishness by Prince. Doesn't have what he wants. Keeps the ball moving. Ball's not loose. Powell with it. Guarded now by Prince. One on one here. And it's Westbrook missing. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Here's Vincent. Here's Reeves. No good on the three. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Westbrook dishes to George. They push it up for on three. 
And for those of you just joining us in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Russell Westbrook. First personal foul. First team foul. Lakers shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. And they shot their free throws at a measly 73% clip over the course of last season. And the first one drops. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Westbrook feeling it out a bit. Down low. And the dunk by Zubac. For a number of seasons, Russell Westbrook has averaged double-digit assists. Thank you, Russell Westbrook. Vincent, the pass to Davis. Count it. Six points for Davis. And, and that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Prince against George. He's again, and yes, it's good. Filing to try and stop the shot, but PG-13, with terrific body control, makes him pay. That's his first And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. At the line for L.A., Paul George. At the line for one. You know, no one produces like Paul George does. He elevates your team's abilities in any situation. Here's Vincent. He's covered by Westbrook. Here's Vincent. Five points in the game. Just five to shoot. And the basket is good. Vincent's got four points this quarter. And so George will bring it up for the Clippers. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Good for his ninth make and just 12 shots. That's an even 75% shooting. Yet another one for Paul George. He can pile up points without wasting possessions. Back to Prince. A shot off that time. So the Clippers will take it the other way. Outside, George, pass to Zubat. Here's Mann. The pass to George. Jacks up a three. The rebound by the Lakers. Hachimura with it. Pass to Vincent. Shoots. He squares up and sinks it. Vincent. Vincent's got nine points. How about that move? You'll see very few players able to pull off just sensational stuff. And the Clippers call time here. It's hard to disagree with the timeout here as the team badly needs to regain focus. They're out of sync offensively, way too many turnovers, and looking frustrated. They need to get back to their pace their brand of basketball. And the Clippers making a switch here. Coffee's checked in. And the Lakers also making a switch. Russell's checked in. Here's Mann. Outside Westbrook. Puts up a three. That's good. And that evens things out for him. 50-50. Four of eight shooting this game. Be careful when Westbrook is knocking down those consistently. Watch out, because that means there's nothing he can't do. Now here is Hetchimura. He's got five. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. First person on that one on George. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much late there. The Lakers have gone just four of eight from the line tonight, hoping to move that free throw percentage up a bit.
He's off on the first. He's good on the second. Here's Westbrook. He's got 11. Passes it to Coffey. Back to Westbrook. And Davis sends it back. This is what AD gives you at that end. He's made the all Davis of first team multiple times. Hey, Vincent. That one's good, and the Clipper lead is cut to just five on the basket from Vincent. And here's Westbrook. Pass to Coffey. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. Coffey's got six points. This is the shot you want to get him. An open look from range. Here's Vincent. He's covered by Westbrook. Stolen by Zubox. It's three on three on the fast break. A second chance effort. Here's Mann. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't get the lid off. Lakers trail by eight. And the dunk by Hachimura. Using outstanding floor awareness there. Russell's ability to pick apart the defense and find the open man. Here's George. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Yeah, he heard the whistle and then kept his focus really? and able to still knock it down. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. A different look for the Clippers. Daniel Tice is checked in for Zubox. Kawhi Leonard comes in for Mann. And it's James Harden in for Russell Westbrook. LeBron's checked in for the Lakers. Reddish comes in for Vincent. Russell passes to James. Back to Russell. Fires the three. It's hauled in by Coffee. And for the Clippers, they're shooting at an even 50% from the floor here on the second quarter. He gets it in there. 24 points for George. Excellent concentration from Paul George, overwhelming the aggressive defense with his strength and determination. To the middle, here's Davis. Doesn't go for him. Excellent D there from George. Clippers leading by 11. Right side, Leonard. Unloads from 13. And that's a welcome sign for sure. Hachimura demonstrating a willingness to want to improve as a defender. Not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his night. And it's Davis at the elbow. And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. And it's eight points for Anthony Davis. And the Clippers call time here. And coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. A critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. Norman Powell checked in for the Clippers. Norman Powell. Clippers shooting so far very efficient all around, about 55%. Harden against Russell. Harden's shot is off. Lakers trail by nine. Floats it up for James. Out of bounds. The Clippers take possession. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Always good to get another look at a terrific defensive play. And that has got to help the morale of this team. Let's see if that sets up a run here. And it's Harden with the ball for the Los Angeles Clippers. 
Pulls up. Rebounded by the Lakers. Russell's got four rebounds now tonight. The dish to Reddish. Back to Russell. Shot clock at six. Drills it from outside. D'Angelo Russell. Russell's got eight three points. Pointer. Hitting three-pointers, so important in today's NBA. Good thing Russell's got the range and confidence to do so. Now, here is Harden. 12 points for him. A rebound by the Lakers. Davis has got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Hachimura. And a miss there on the triple. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Harden inside the three-point line. Again, the miss by Harden. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. And you've seen they've made numerous attempts to try to get him going. Shows how valuable he is to this offense. Leonard on the wing. Guarded by Reddish. And Leonard gets it to go. The mid-range analytics do not apply to Kawhi. That's his shot. Timeout call for Lakers. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied. And the Lakers with some changes. Jackson Hayes comes in for Davis. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Hachimura. Russell finds Reddish. Back to Russell. The pass to Reddish. It's picked off. Here's Coffey. Crops in the breakaway lane. And it's a 10-point clipper lead. An agile play to get his hand in there and get the steal. Intelligent play to immediately start the break. Now, here's Reddish. He's covered by Leonard. And the Lakers with another turnover here. This is what we talk about, valuing each possession, avoiding those kinds of mistakes. Here's Powell. One fifteen left to play here in the half. And here's Harden for three. Drills the three-pointer. Harden's got the lead up to 13 now for the Clippers. Great floor awareness. Powell knows how to find his open teammates. Now, here's Reddish. Defense is right there. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. Harden's shot is off. Lakers trail by 13. That is the pass to LeBron. Offensive rebound. Yeah, and the way they have controlled the glass this game, really impressive. You know, you look at how they built this lead. It's been through extra possessions. Mm-hmm. Out left of the wing. Down low. It's stolen by Tice. One-on-one -on -one fast break. Here's Coffee. Shooting foul, foul. as the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Russell. Second personal foul. The Clippers have made the most out of their opportunities at the line. They have yet to miss in seven attempts. Amir Coffey to the line, taking two shots. Shoot two. The first free throw is good. Both shots good from the strike. Six seconds left in the first half of the game. There's Russell with the three. Knocks down the three ball. Russell. Russell's got six here in this quarter. And the ball and the body control. Russell with a nasty. And 
Lorenzo, it's the Los Angeles Clippers enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Coach, what have you liked about your team's performance so far? I like our physicality. I thought we came out, started the game physical. Um, that set the tone for us early. Well, we'll see if they can keep it up, T. Lou. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. An outstanding first quarter for Paul George. He ended up with 24 points and four rebounds. What would you think, Shaq, about the first half we saw from the Clippers? The production they've gotten from their bench has been phenomenalistic. I don't know if that's a word, but it sounded good, honey. As we know, depth is important to any team's success. They're demonstrating that tonight. Who knows? You might get the starters a the band. No one wants to be outshined. And Kenny, how about what you saw from the Lakers? Shot. Was anyone boxing out? I mean, if they didn't box you out like this, you got 50 just on offensive rebounds. I mean, they got to put bodies on bodies or fundamentals. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. Fans, please give a big round of applause. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You look at Paul George in this game, guys, he, he's been everywhere. His play so far is what fans love about him. He has gone right at the defense time and time again. And not standing around, not selling for perimeter shots. He's looking to attack. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Clippers leading by 12. Ivica Zubas is out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Harden, and it's Coffey in at the three, the small forward. It's the group starting the second half for Teron Lue. Here he's up from three-point range. Yeah, that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why, it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive the rotations, defense. but it's worth it. Three points. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. And they pick up two. Harden's got 17. An inside Harden is such a difficult cover. Get too close, and you know he'll cleverly draw a foul. Here's Russell. And with the rebound. Mann's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Coffey. Terrific okay. assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. There's Russell with the three, and he's good on the three ball. Three points. 14 points for him. And I like when Russell plays with pace. And that was a good shot in rhythm, and that can get him going. Harden kicks to Leonard. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got his fourth assist in this one. I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They have came in focused, and they've executed. Here's Reeves. He has six. Hachimura. Second chance shot. James outside. Pass to Hachimura. Six to shoot. Tough possession there. They stayed with it, but they just couldn't make it. And so Harden will bring it up for the Clippers. 16-point lead, the largest margin in the game. Good job inviting contact. The closer Leonard gets to the rim, the more dangerous he becomes. The Clippers have been exceptional shooting free throws tonight, going nine for nine. Leonard for a free throw. 
two shots. That free throw, no good. Well, pro probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. And the Clippers making a change here. George has checked in. He hits the second from the line. You know, when you have a guy like Kawhi Leonard, so much of what you do goes through him. You trust him. You trust his abilities. Now here is Hetchimer. Eight points for him. Here's Russell. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Yeah, easy call. That's his third personal foul. The Lakers have been shooting 50% at the line, 5 of 10. Shooting for Los Angeles. D'Angelo Russell. Shooting two. Free throw, no good. Good on the second free throw. Clippers leading by 16. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Foul. The defense throws everything at George, but he persists and finds a shot. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. At the line for L.A., Paul George. At the line for two. And he can't get the first one. And the second free throw, good. Lakers trailed by 17. Reeves the pass to Russell. Inside. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Second personal Great job by Hachimura to not lose his concentration. Boy, he plays with great focus and energy. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. One falls for Hachimura. Clippers leading by 14. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. From downtown. And again, it's the Clippers missing. The Lakers have gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Russell passes to Reeves. He dishes it to LeBron. Lock at six, lets it go from deep. They get the rebound. Hachimura, no good. Great defensive effort, just saved a basket. You know what, this is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Now here is Hachimura. Harden missing his last shot. Beasting on defense. First he closes out hard on the shooter, then he attacks the glass. Feel Leonard with the bucket. The power, the length, the ability to finish. Leonard dominant in that painted area. And the Lakers call time here.
And so it's Hachimura who brings up the ball for the Lakers. It's a 16-point game. Dishes to Russell. Fires from deep. Here's Reeves. Uses the glass Austin that time, Reeves. and it's good. Reeves has got eight points. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. Tony. Finishing through contact. Harden is just so elusive and creative on those strong drives. James outside. Floats it up for James. LeBron Throws down the alley-oop slam. How do you stop that? LeBron with too much lift and too much power. Short. Zubac trying to break loose. Good work defensively by Hatchimer. Also looking it over. To the paint. Stolen by Zubac. And now the Clippers on the break. Here's Mann. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got his fifth assist in this one. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Clippers. Their defense, it's their defense. It has been downright incredible so far. Being disruptive and coming up with steals left and right. And one other thing they have done well has been scoring in transition. Looking to run whenever they can. In the corner, George with it. Harden against Davis. Harden kicks to Leonard. Fires it up. And it's Russell with the rebound. Russell's got his fifth rebound in this one. To the inside. That's good from Davis on the assist by Russell. He's got 10. I just love watching Davis go to work inside. This is too easy for him. Here's Harden. Hachimura grabs the miss. Lakers trail by 14. Kicks it to Russell. Over George. And with the rebound. Mann's got rebound number five here tonight. Got a piece of it. And stolen by LeBron. And it's the Lakers on the break. LeBron with the ball. Six for ten with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of guys. You know, it's amazing to watch up close. LeBron, he's just a next-level athlete. LeBron against Leonard. Can't connect from short range. And for the Lakers, they're shooting pretty good tonight at 48%. LeBron passes to Hachimura. Up and in on the lane. Hachimura. Hachimura's got five points now this quarter. I love how under control Hachimura is. Able to push his train through the contact and score. Nice work. And the Clippers call time here. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. It's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Here's what the Clippers are going with right now. Mason Plumley's checked in for Zubox. Amir Coffey comes in for George. And it's Powell in for Terrence Mann. Powell, that's good. Off the catch, Norman Powell is quick to move the ball into his shot pocket. On the wing, Davis. No good on the shot, and it's the Clippers taking it the other way. 17 points was their biggest margin. Powell, and oh, contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Second what gritty determination. Third Love third watching third. Norman Powell stay with That's his shot and get third. the call. This Norman is his first free throw of the game. Taking two shots. The free throw drops for Powell. You know, every team is looking for guys like Norman Powell, an explosive athlete who is relentless, and he can shoot the ball.
And so Powell nails both of them. And so it's Dinwiddie who brings up the ball for the Lakers. They trail by 14. Trying to get open is Davis. Dinwiddie's shot is off. The Clippers have gone 8 of 14 on their shot attempts here in the third. Some pretty nice work. The three from Harden. Leonard. And Leonard stays with it. Leonard's got eight points here in this quarter. This guy is a fighter. Kawhi Leonard using his length to do damage on the glass. It's Prince on the wing. Takes a three. And that one is off. The Clippers go the other way with it. 14 feet away. They get it back. Kicks it out to Harden. Three-pointer. Lakers with the rebound. Just not feeling it from beyond the arc. Sometimes that happens. He's trying to shoot his way out of it. Outside, Russell. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. There's another thing you like about Russell. Just good size at that lead guard position. And makes him a handful to defend inside. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. That free throw missing. Russell Westbrook's checked in for James Harden. Hayes, he's checked in for the Lakers. And he sinks the second. Clippers leading by 15. Outside Westbrook. Yes, it is. Score that is a bucket. Number five on a five for 11 night. Great ability to create space off the pick. Whether Russ keeps it or dishes it, he finds a way to get it done. Powell, the pass to Westbrook. Leonard on the wing. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals. Five for eight in the game. This is where you really see it. The skill set of Kawhi Leonard allows him to beat good defense. And again, the Lakers no good. The Clippers shooting an outstanding 55% from the field since the half. You know, their execution has been on point. Outside Westbrook, Tires for three. Here's Plumlee. Nice work on the board. He's paying off with the basket. Plumlee's got his first points of the game. Man, just adding insult to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. A, a developing shot maker. I'm a fan of Russell's unwavering commitment to his crack. Plays it up off the glass. Westbrook. Westbrook's got four points in the quarter. And, and loving the strategy. Even though you're well ahead, you want to stay in attack mode. You want to stay aggressive, right at the rim, driving another nail into the coffin. And they get it back. Prince against Leonard. Prince kicks to Russell. Down to five on the shot clock. Good on the three-point shot. Woo, he got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. Passes it to Leonard. Over Prince. And Leonard gets it to go on the assist by Westbrook. Leonard's got 14. And you love that about Kawhi. After he makes a shot, he gives you the poker face. Just goes about his business. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Amir Coffey. That's foul number two for him. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. And some changes here for the Lakers. Davis has checked in for Jackson Hayes. Reddish comes in for LeBron. And it's Gabe Vincent in for Russell. There's 38 seconds left to play here in the third. Reddish kicks to Prince. Now the Clippers moving it up. 
Here's Poe. Dinwiddie with some nice D. Lakers trailed by 20. Pass to Davis. Powell with the steal. Left side, Westbrook. Back to Powell. This one for three. He's off on that one. The three quarters of play all in the books. And this one all but over already. Your Clippers ahead. Ending the third quarter with a massive 16-6 to six run. And fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. The Lakers shooting at 46%, making some buckets. And on the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. They've got Torrey and Prince. Foul. He's out there with Cameron Reddish. Norman He's Powell. out there with Vincent. First and it's Reeves foul. in at the two. First team foul. Reddish, defended by George, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. A solid shooter with good all-around skills. Cam Reddish is tough to anticipate defensively. Cameron Reddish, two shots. Shooting two. Free throw good from Reddish. A versatile wing with a good overall skill set. Reddish has a bright future in this league, and I think his peers would agree. Both free throws good from Reddish. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Driving inside. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First personal foul. It's going to be on Cam First Reddish. Smart play from Westbrook. Attacking the defense and making them compromise with the foul. Two shots. No good on the free throw. Good on the second free throw. So it's the Lakers now. 19-point game. Here's Vincent. And there's the pass to Reddish. Drains it from beyond Cam the arc. Reddish. Shot selection still back. needs a little work, but Cam Reddish has excellent range on the jumper. From T, George. The Lakers with the rebound. Reeves has got rebound number five here tonight. Pass to Vincent. Not going to go that time. Westbrook with the nice D there. Clippers leading by 16. The dish to George. A three ball. Reeves with the rebound. Reeves has got six rebounds here tonight to the left side wing. Inside. And that one is stuffed Brilliant. right through. Love the unselfishness. Not only can Cam create for himself, he can also create for others. Right side, Westbrook. Powell for three. That's good. And so Westbrook comes up with the assist. Westbrook's got his fifth assist in this one. 
late reaction defensively. He quickly takes advantage, throws their lead. You can't afford to give him space. Those kinds of mistakes have been the story of this game. Six on the shot clock. Here's Vincent. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Westbrook's got his fourth rebound in this one. The shot by Powell, no good. Lakers trailed by 17. Pass to Reeves. Just a little under two and a half minutes of pass now here in the fourth. Pass to Reddish. For the three. It's hauled in by Zubac. Zubac has got seven rebounds in the game. Westbrook passes to Tice. Now Powell from outside the arc sinks the three-pointer. Powell's got six in the corner. I love how Powell moves on the floor, flies off the pick to an open look at the basket. Prince finds Reddish. Here's Reeves. Shoots over Powell. They get it back. Hey, count that one. Hustle points count just like any others. That's a great play. Clippers leading by 18. Outside, George. Out of bounds. The Lakers will take possession. Los Angeles. And the Clippers making a change here. Martin's checked in. And then for the Lakers. Anthony Davis is checked in for Jackson Hayes. James comes in for Torian Prince. And it's Russell in for Gabe Vincent. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And guys, one of the emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. And Tice throws it down. Oh, nice work finding the open man by George. Plays like this prove he's a team player. Outside, Russell. And the pass to Reddish. Davis with it. Zubac's defending. Just five on the clock. Davis kicks to LeBron. It's good from the top of the LeBron key. James. LeBron's got nine points now in just the second half. Nice touch on the jumper. Even at this stage in his career, LeBron's floor spacing ability continues to evolve. Powell, no one around him. And it's off from three-point range. Lakers trailed by 18. James has a two-pointer. And good as it just snugs Assisted right down through the net. I like how Reddish just keeps his head up and finds the right guy to give it to. Harden the pass to Zubac. And the dunk by Zubac. Can't be that easy for him. Got to body him up down low. And you have other methods as well. You could deny or you can just front the post. Davis kicks to Reddish. Clippers leading by 15. Now, here is Harden. From the arc. Traps in the tray. Harden's got 22 points. Yeah, you, you got your shooters and you have your scores, but... James Harden is both. Pass to Reeves. Got a piece of it. Powell with the steal. George against James. Two free throws Powell coming up, and they call the shooting foul. LeBron power move from PG-13. He's added a lot of muscle to his frame over the years, putting it to good use right there. Paul George taking two shots. The first one falls for the Clippers. Leonard comes in for Ivica Zubac. Man subbed in for Powell.
and George drops them both. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Passes it to Reeves. There's three pointers off the mark. Clippers leading by 20. Here's Harden. Plays it up and banks it in. Harden's got 24 points. Nice pass by Kawhi Leonard. You can tell he's been working on his playmaking. Here's Davis. And that time, also a missed shot. Clippers have gotten into a pretty good groove going 6 of 10 here in the final quarter. Leonard, the vast demand. Outside Leonard. Pass to Harden. Takes it out to Leonard. A three-pointer, no good. That is fantastic defense on one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Didn't give him an inch of room. Yes, that goes in. Cameron Reddish. Reddish has got 10 points in the quarter. Getting everyone involved. Russell operating the offense like a seasoned vet. Outside, George. And it's the Clippers scoring again. So that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. That shot misses. And the Clippers will come the other way. And he banks in the lane. George has got 31. Defense does a good job, but George won't relent. He rises to meet their challenge. Here's LeBron. Good, and the assist goes LeBron to Russell. James. Clippers leading by 22. Here's Mann on the wing, Harden. On loads. And it's Russell with the rebound. Lakers have got a pretty good rhythm going offensively, shooting 8 of 15 for the quarter. Davis, the pass to Reeves. He's now made half of those Austin 10 shots Reeves. in the game. That's his fifth basket. His team is down because he's not shooting enough. There's no reason he shouldn't be getting more looks right now. Leonard against LeBron. And the rejection by LeBron. Great positioning by LeBron and timing on that block shot. Reeves gets the bucket. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. George with the ball. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Second personal foul. Third team fight. At the line for your Clippers, Paul George. At the line for two. We throw good, Paul George. Amir Coffey's checked in for the Clippers. And the Lakers also making a change. Hachimura, he's checked in for Reddish. And both free throws, good for Paul George. Lakers trailed by 20. Hachimura kicks to Davis. Loads it up for Davis, and it's Davis with the jam. You won't find a much better alley partner. AD flying to the rim. Harden outside. Outside Leonard. Looks good. Is good. That's his seventh basket in 12 tries. The Lakers shooting 49% on the game. They'll take that. Left side, Davis. Unloads from 13. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Clippers leading by 20. Harden dishes to George. 
Three-pointer. Rebound the Lakers. James has got his sixth rebound on the night. Russell passes to Davis. Good D by Harden. The Clippers shooting 53% from the field in the fourth quarter. Can't ask for more Two than that from your offense. In the game. Two minutes. Outside Leonard. Man gets the bucket. Man. Nice One, feed, two, Leonard, two. with good timing, good ball placement. Man's gone two of four from the field. Outside Russell, down low. Here's Davis. It's hauled in by Coffee. Coffee's got six rebounds here tonight. And here's Harden on the wing, George. Now Harden, five to shoot. There's the triple. Connects from three-point range. Harden's got 12 points in just the second half. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the Clippers. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win a, a, a game that foul. not many will soon forget and foul. on the other side one that I, I think most will try to forget and one of the league's top talents game in and game out and doing it here again in this one a terrific night for george hard not to be impressed by what he did tonight he was aggressive he was efficient and the defense had no answer under on the wing and foul oh, on the shot, the so he'll get a chance at the line. LeBron James. That's on Second LeBron James. Aggressive play Lord from Kawhi Lord. Leonard. Drawing the foul the and still taking his shot. Kawhi Leonard for a free throw. Two shots. No good on that one. He hits the second from the line. The Lakers shooting at 48% from the floor. Looking good. James with a deep three. They grab their own miss. Trying to get open as Davis goes Austin to the reverse Reed. layup and drops it in. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Harden looking it over. 29 seconds left in the game. Coffee can't get it to go. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Let's the three fly. The Clippers grab the miss. Now, here is Harden. So the Clippers winning this one easily. They put it on tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that love every minute of it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home, no doubt.